What's up my dudes, Jesse Mails here with Backwater Fly Fishing. Today we're getting into another fly tying video, but before we do that, if you like this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and be sure to hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop a fly tying video or a new fishing video. And if you haven't seen our latest fishing video, be sure to check it out. It was a super cool film we shot with my dad and my son and we put together a really cool story for you guys. So go check that out, there'll be a link in this video somewhere or in the description below. Now today, somebody had left me a comment, I believe last week talking about wanting to see a beach tarpon fly. And that seems like a really easy subject to cover, but in Florida, tarpon are on the beaches in a number of different scenarios. You could find them on shallow flats, you could find them in the breakers, you could find them in channels. Um, so there's a kind of a lot of situations there. Uh, we're going to narrow it down to just maybe casting into the surf uh, for tarpon that maybe are coming along the beach during the mullet run or just cruising across a flat. So mainly these fish are going to be feeding on bait fish like mullet. So the idea is to see if fish are busting on the surface, we want to keep a fly that's going to stay high in the water. If they're not and you're just seeing cruising fish, they might be feeding two, three feet below the surface and you're going to need that fly to be lower. So we're gonna tie the same fly for both of those situations. And what you would do is just use floating line or intermediate line to get that fly into the zone. Um, this fly just really creates a mullety looking profile using EP fibers, which is typically my go-to when you're fishing tarpon in these types of scenarios. It's a natural color pattern, olive or white and tan. And let's get going. All right guys, so this is a three yacht SC15, first step like always is to lay a good solid thread base. And we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Now that we have our thread base sort of locked in, we're gonna take some large bead chain eyes and we're gonna stick those a little bit off from the eye of the hook. So we don't want them right up against the eye. That way we could fill in some of that material up in front of these eyes. All right, now the first thing we're gonna add is just one strip of tan EP fiber, sort of to the top of this shank, just like that. And you can trim this extra off. Now for the belly, we have sort of an off-white colored EP fiber. This is gonna go in sort of split around the hook, tie it in underneath. Next, just repeat those two steps. Next, we're gonna take this crustaceous brush and build a big fat head on the fly that we're gonna trim and then taper off down into the tail of the fly. We'll go ahead and add some UV gel here before we trim it. Just cover up those thread wraps. Now obviously this fly looks ridiculous right now and it's all going to kind of shape up once we start trimming all this fiber off. There we go. And we want to pick this brush out so that no fibers are trapped under all our wraps. Time to trim it. Alright guys, if you're liking this video, don't forget we have a Patreon page where you can help support this YouTube channel and gain access to a bunch of different HD fly tying videos just for our Patreon members. There'll be a link in the video description below. Thank you guys so much for your support. Alright, so there you go. Super cool bait fish fly here for fishing, tarpon off the beach in the surf things like that. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought. 
Until next time, guys, catch y'all later. Deuces.